Hello, my name is Mindy and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing a book haul today. I have a great big stack of books here from, these are all from publishers. I had, don't have, I haven't bought any books this year, this week. And this is my first half, so this is um, book haul number one for the year. <laughs> the first one is A Son's Vow by Shelley Shepard Gray. And as you can probably tell, it's a um, Amish story. And then the next one is Sleeping Giants by Sylv Sylvain Nouvelle. I don't know. This one's about a girl who rides her bike in South Dakota and she falls to the earth. And then there's, um, she's caught by a giant metal hand. And then 17 years later, it, there's a, it still remains a mystery and unsolved. And she is a physicist who's leading the top secret team to crack the hands code. So this sounds really interesting to me. And then the next one is Burning Midnight by Will McIntosh. And this one is about there's a brilliant colored spears came from somewhere and they don't nobody knows Nobody knows where they came from, but they use them kind of like um, they buy and sell them because different things are for a different, um, different. They do different things. Um, they make you they make you better looking, taller, skilled at math, things like that. And then Sully meets Hunter, a girl with a natural talent for finding them, and then they find a gold sphere. And it's the story about what happens when they find gold because gold is, nobody's ever found a gold one before. So um, I'm anxious to get into that. <laughs> and then the next one is called Feral by Holly Schindler. And this one is about a, a girl named Claire after she survived a brutal beating when she lived where she lived in Chicago. And then they moved to Peculiar, Missouri and she discovers the body of a popular high school student surrounded by the town's feral cats but she knows there's more to the accident than meets the eye so that's the it's a mystery so that sounds interesting then the lost codex by alan jacobson and this is about they how they wrote the first sanctioned bible and in 1953 half of the manuscript goes missing and then around the same time the Dead Sea Scrolls are discovered and then promptly stolen so six decades later parts of the parchment stands at the heart of the battle between foreign governments and radical extremists and it's just about a, an FBI um, profiler and a terrorism expert and their mission is to find the documents and so that's an exciting premise for a book. And then the next one is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. And this is about um, Amani Alhazar is many things, a sharpshooter, a dreamer, a good liar. She's never been an outlaw, a thief, or a spy, and she's never met anyone worthy in risking her risking death for but all that's about to change so that sounds interesting too and then Raging Sea by Michael Buckley this is the second book in the Undertow trilogy and um, I, I haven't read the first book so I don't know I'll have to read the first book it's about the Alpha arriving and how the world was never the same. The alphas from outer, or people from outer space. Then this one I received is the history major by Michael Philip Cash, and it's uh, she had a fight with her boyfriend at Manda Green, um, and then she went on a heavy night of heavy partying. She's a college freshman, 
and when she wakes up, things aren't quite the same as they were when she, before she went to sleep. But she can't quite put her finger on it. So it's about what ha what all that is all about. So that's interesting. And then he also sent me the Witches Protection Program. Um, West Rockville, a disgraced law enforcement agent, is given one last chance to prove himself and save his career when he's reassigned to a 232-year-old secret government organization, the Witches Protection Program. His first assignment is to uncover a billion-dollar cosmetics company's diabolical plan of using witchcraft for global domination while protecting its heiress, Morgan Pendragon, from her aunt's evil deeds. Reluctantly paired with veteran witch protector Alistair Veen, Vern, Wes must learn to believe in both witches and himself. And then I got Breaking Wind by Diane Les Bequetz. I'm not saying that right, I'm sure. I'm not sure what this is about. It's something to do with survival. So, it says here, it's a gorgeous debut, a novel that explores the human capacity to preserve despite the wounds of the past and the perils of the present. So, I'll find out what it's, and then this one is Survive the Night. And it's by Danielle Vega. And <laughs> it's about these girls going going to a rave down in some tunnels and one of the girls finds another one finds one of the other girls um, dead. So it's, it's a rave, it's a mystery around that. Then I got the obsession by Nora Roberts. And this is, says, you can never outrun your past. Naomi Bowles, Bowers lost her innocence the night she followed her father into the woods. In freeing the girl trapped in the root cellar, Naomi revealed the horrible extent of her father's crimes and made him infamous. Now a successful photographer living under the name Naomi Carson, she has found a place that calls to her thousands of miles away from everything she's ever known. But the sins of her father can become an obsession, and as she's learned time and again, her past is never more than a nightmare away. Well, that sounds interesting. That that'll be coming out in April this year. And then I got "Return to Paradise" by Barbara Cameron. <coughs> this is about a a guy who was um, who left the Amish. And he was encouraging his siblings to follow because their father was too abusive towards them. And he went to the English world, only way to keep one, one another safe. But it wasn't without sacrifice because he had to give up his, his um, community. And he also left, about, left behind Lavina Zook, the woman he was planning to marry. And so he has to come. She tries to get him to come back because her father's been diagnosed with cancer. So that's interesting. And then Moonlight Over Paris by Jennifer Robson. <coughs> this is a USA Today, an international bestseller author. Jennifer Robson takes readers to 1920s Paris in a historical novel that tells the riveting story of an English lady who trades in her staid aristocratic life with the mesmerizing salons and the heady world of the lost generation. <clears throat> so that sounds interesting. And then I got, I'm not going to say much about this, this is from Bags to Riches. This is the third book in the um, <clears throat> a Jesse Stanton novel um, series. So this is about a lady named Jessie Hart, who, um, who after several things that have happened, opens up a, a boutique in Hollywood, and it's just about what happens then. So this this is interesting. And then my last book I got so f this month so far is A Perfect Days by Raphael Montes Montes. 
and this is a twisted young medical student kidnaps the girl of his dreams and embarks on a dark and delicious road trip across Brazil in the English language debut of one of Brazil's most celebrated young crime writers. So that sounds interesting also. So that's all I've gotten so far this month. Um, I hope you guys are having a great month so far, a great month of reading. Right now I'm in a reading slump, so I'm having a really hard time getting into some books. So, but I hope to um, change that soon. So hopefully, um, like I said, I hope you're having a good reading month. Thanks for dropping by. Subscribe and click like down below. Thanks. Bye.